Hey, have you ever wondered what life would be like if you could change everything by just changing your mind? You know what? You can. I'm totally living proof of this. Hey, I'm Mel. I have spent the last 35 years getting over the first 18 years of my life. And yes, it took me that long. And in that time, I learned so much about myself, about other people, about the world, about the mind, but mostly about the spirit. And I'm diving into this magical place of mindsets and personal growth and spiritual connection. And I'm here to share my lessons with you just in case there's somebody out there who needs to hear this. So today, we are going to talk about changing your mind and how that can transform your entire life. And I'll share some of my journey with you um, from living in fear to living in love. And we'll be chatting about how our deepest beliefs actually shape our reality and how I shifted from fear to love and how this change helped me to realize that none of us are truly alone in this world. None of us. So understanding the power of the mind, right? So when I talk about changing your mind, I am not talking about picking between the blue jeans or the white jeans today. I'm talking about this deeper transformation, like changing the thoughts that fuel our emotions, that fuel our actions, and ultimately that fuels our entire life. So our minds are incredibly powerful and science can back this up. Dr. Joe Dispenza, he talks about how thoughts literally shape our brains and our bodies and creates our reality. So if you're constantly thinking thoughts of fear and of negativity, your brain actually wires itself to live in that state. But here is the good news. Just as your mind can create stressy thoughts and fear, it can also create joy and peace and love by changing your thoughts. Okay, so Joseph Mercy, in The Power of the Subconscious Mind, he explains that your subconscious beliefs dictate your life. Like, if you believe you are not worthy, you are going to attract situations that reinforce that belief. But when you start to plant new positive beliefs in your subconscious, your life begins to change in ways you couldn't even imagine. For most of my life, I was operating out of fear. I was taught to mistrust from a very young age. Um, and I saw the world as this scary place where I was powerless and where I was completely alone. But in 2013, all of that changed. Something amazing started to shift, right? I began to notice this fear and then I gradually moved towards love, towards this connection. And Dr. Joe Dispenza emphasizes that when we shift, our focus from survival mode, so fear mode, into growth mode or love mode. We tap into our brain and we rewire ourselves. This shift doesn't just change your thoughts, it actually changes your physiology. So over the last 11 years, I made a huge transition from living in 80% fear to living in 80% love. This is massive, but it has not been easy. But it's been worth every bit of effort that I've put in. And I'm really proud of myself for making this journey. And I did it with the help of amazing people and some amazing ideas and books along the way. And the transformation was about realizing that I am not alone, that I am connected to something greater. And that something greater is a source of love. It's a source of wisdom. And it has always been there inside of me. So Dr. Joe Dispenza says, when you change your energy, and state of being, you naturally attract new experiences into your life. And I've done exactly that. It's amazing. So as a child, as I said, I was taught to mistrust and I believed that I wasn't worth anything. So those beliefs create a world where I was always on guard, where I was living in fear and where I was constantly vigilant. I could never relax. But as I grew older, I started to question my beliefs, and I started to look for some other perspectives, right? So I devoured books. I watched inspirational videos and movies. I took so many courses and I went to so much therapy. 
and I was on this mission to understand myself and to find a way to be okay. And then something incredible happened. <laughs> I became okay because I realized that I didn't need to rely on other people to find my peace, that I could trust what was inside me already. Joseph Murphy, he says, your subconscious mind is your constant companion and learning to trust it can unlock limitless, can unlock limited possibilities. Unlock unlimited. <laughs> it's your constant companion and it's learning to trust it can unlock limitless possibilities. And I discovered a connection within me. I like to think of it is finding like this golden glue that holds all of my broken pieces together and it makes me stronger. It's like this inner connection, this golden glue is like having a superpower. And I think it can be yours too. So if you've ever felt like you are a broken plate, please remember you have got some gold inside of you and it's waiting to work its magic. It's shifting from fear to love, from feeling alone to feeling connected. And it can transform everything for you. And I am living proof that this is possible and that if I can do it, you can too. Because I am nothing special. I'm just a regular person. So if this message resonates with you, I'd love to hear what you think about this. Leave some comments for me, please. And don't forget to like and subscribe if that's what you want to do. The thing is, you must remember the journey from fear to love is one that we can all make and you make it one step at a time, okay? So thank you for watching. I believe in the power of changing your mind and I really think you should watch this video because it'll probably help you as well. Thank you.